Hey guys, I'm your host Eric, and I've been playing blackjack for as long as I can remember. Like as soon as I could be going to the casino, I was playing the game, learning everything to know about it. So today, what I'm going to be doing is going through four of my biggest tips on how to improve your blackjack game. Tip number one, basic blackjack strategy. Mathematicians have worked out this chart for the rest of us to use. It looks something like this. This chart will show you exactly how to play every single hand you are dealt. This chart doesn't guarantee you to win each hand, but it does give you the best chance at doing so. So learn this chart, study this chart. This chart will be your new Bible. I've actually left a link in the description below for you to access this on your own time so you don't have to go through the video. Tip number two, don't be afraid to double down. I know, trust me, doubling down is very scary sometimes. You put double the money on, you have double the risk, but it is worth it in the end. So, dealer gives you a seven and a four, a six and a five, or any other sum that equals up to 11, this is a guaranteed double down. I couldn't stress it enough, double down on these hands. The chance of getting a 10 is so high in that opportunity that you're missing out if you're not doubling down. Tip number three, do not ever buy insurance. And I'm not talking about life insurance or house insurance. I'm talking about blackjack insurance because those are pretty important. The way insurance works in blackjack is that if the dealer draws a card of an ace face up on his hand, he will then ask you if you would like to put insurance on the hand. What insurance is, is the dealer is giving you a way out if he pulls a blackjack. So what you would do is you put half the value of your bet on the insurance line and then the bet would pay out if the dealer wins a blackjack. Keep in mind, you still lose your initial bet and you just get paid out three to two on that insurance bet. So you're essentially just making your insurance bet and your normal bet back. So in my opinion for the insurance bet, it's not worth the money. You put half the money on just to get your money back. It's better to risk the hand. Maybe the dealer doesn't pull a 10, he pulls a five, a four, something playable. It's better to take the risk in most cases than just playing the safe way out. Tip number four, surrendering. Surrendering isn't the most common of occurrence when it comes to blackjack tables. It usually only happens at about 10% of the tables where they are a blackjack surrender or surrender blackjack game. But you'll know that right away when you walk up to the table and read the card. What happens with surrendering is, when it comes to your hand, when you have the option to hit, stay, double down, split, on surrender tables, you will also have the option to surrender. By surrendering, you tell the dealer your hand is dead, but you get to keep half of your bet and you lose the other half. For an example of when you should surrender, say the dealer pulls up a 10 and you get given one of the scariest hands. You get like a, a 13, a 14, a 15, one hand where you know I'm probably not gonna win this. What you can do is surrender right off the bat instead of risking a high hit and losing the whole hand, and then you get 50% of your bet back straight away. Yeah, you're like 50%, it's not much, but it is really important. This one added rule is actually a game changer when it comes to blackjack, and I would even recommend, if you had the option between choosing a blackjack table and a surrender blackjack table, to go with the surrender just because of this. So guys, that's it for us. Those were our four tips on improving your blackjack game. Make sure to like and comment if you enjoyed the video, and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for our future gambling content. See you guys next time.